Okay, what's up guys? Welcome to a sneaker review video. Man, these sneakers, nah. Cause I, I wanna I wanna save that. I wanna just save the moment and things. Because these shoes, wow, that's where you just know that legs is meant for anything. I'm literally holding these shoes with my leg right now. But anyways, yes, these shoes you can hold them with your legs. But I customized me a pair of shoes. I did. Um, it's something that I had been wanting to bring to life like a pair of shoes that I created I wanted to bring them like to life and this ain't even gonna be like the end of it this is like the, the I feel like that this point in time of me creating shoes was definitely like the credits of the movie like it hasn't even started yet the credits is gonna be rolling on for a while but anyways I created me a, um, a pair of uh, or customized a pair of blazers on the Nike app I personally think that they turned out well. I think that these would have been some shoes where it had been like blasted all over the place. Like you got uh, complex sneakers, sneaker news, uh, what other sneaker websites or apps out there. There's like, there's like some profiles that I'd be following on Instagram where they'll be like, oh yeah, these are like the newest Jordans that's coming out, like Black Friday and things. I guess they're coming out with the Fire Reds. And so I'm like, okay, to shout out to the Fire um, Redheads out there and things. I don't know, like, I like fours, but I'm not like a big, I only got like a couple of pair of fours though. So I haven't really found like a colorway that, to, that can stick with me and things. But I, I, I'll keep my eyes open. But anyways, I customized a pair of uh, Nike Blazers mid-77s. And this is what they look like. Hold on, I want to be like extra gentle with these shoes. They ain't getting all caught up on the table and stuff. This is what they look like. Dang, it's like super bright for some reason. They ain't even like that bright when you like hold them in hand or something. Like, why they look so... Hold on for a second. Let me get the shoelace out of the way. But anyways, um, dang, why they look like that? That's weird. That is so weird. It is not that bright like... I, I've taken pictures, I posted videos on Instagram, so if you want to uh, look at it like a non-bright version of it, maybe I should have did it during the day and it probably wouldn't have been as bright, but anyways, um, yeah, so it's like a tie-dye colorway, um, and then on top of that, excuse, um, see, because I wanted the tongue to be different, I feel like the tongues on uh, most shoes, they stick out, there's something, you know, fascinating about it, so the tongue on the shoe is like a camo green and then uh, the bottom of it, of it is black stat is that like oh that's like something that got stuck on the bottom of the shoe i must have stepped on some plastic yeah okay so i had stepped on some plastic i was like bro tell me these shoes i haven't even worn them outside yet tell me these shoes is not the bottom is already messed up but no it's good it's good so anyways um so yeah i and then bro Check it out. Freaking T-Moss Boss on the side of the shoe. I'm telling you, man, I got to find, like, a dope outfit to wear and, like, get, like, a hat. Like, I need, like, an outfit that just goes. Like, if you guys customize clothes and y'all can, like, send me out some, like, because I'm a medium, right? Like, medium pants, medium, like, hoodie. I prefer a hoodie. If something, I'm telling you, I really, no, nah, y'all ain't got to, like, customize. I, I'll customize the clothes myself. I ain't going to put y'all through that trouble. But anyways, no, like, that's definitely something I want to do is come out with a whole outfit that, like, this, like, goes together and things. So, anyways, nah, man, I was so, so, backstory on these shoes. So, I, I had been wanting, so, this was the main thing right here. I wanted a shoe that can say T-Moss Boss going across it. There is literally no other shoes that, I guess, you need to have, like, more than nine characters or something like that so i'll get to like eight characters and they'll say like t moss like bos it won't have two s's it'll just say it'll just have the one s so upsetting so so upsetting so i was just like you know what nah man i ain't gonna stop until i find me a pair of shoes so one day i was just sitting on the uh, app and um yeah and then uh or actually no i did it on the website i did it on the website it's uh yeah because they they showed more shoes for some reason to customize i guess maybe that but it's probably like the same amount i don't know but anyway so i'm on the website i'm on my computer and i'm like sitting down customizing it and then uh and then this is what it also looks like on the inside so it doesn't say t moss boss on the inside i think they you could have that option, but I was like, nah, that's just doing too much. That's too much t Moss Boss. I just need, like, on that outside part, and I'm good. So, anyways, customizing the shoes, and then I just got to looking at them, and I was like, bro, 
I am really digging this shoe. Like, this is a good shoe, man. I'm telling you, I was looking at it up like, nah, man, this sticks out more than any other shoes because I had customized a bunch of shoes on the Nike uh, website. So that's why I was like, with these ones, something just stuck out, like stood out, not, not stuck, stood out a lot in things. I'm like, bro, I have to get these. I really have to and stuff. So and I'm telling you, I would have done like Air Forces. They need to have it where you can customize some Jordans. Bro, I'm telling you, if they if they need to just come out with like a wide production and just a bunch of like ones, twos, three, I'm telling you, y'all got the money, y'all got the material, you guys can do it. I know y'all can, because I'm telling you, there would be so many, do you understand the, the like what I would do to a, like an Air Jordan 6? Oh my goodness, if they allowed me to customize an Air Jordan 6, just had like a bunch of and they need to have like more than just like a few colors they need to have like multiple colors i'm telling you right now this shoe i would have made this look this shoe would have looked like it belonged in like back to the future too they've been like the most futuristic shoe like the, i i personally i need to like do that i need to do that on my brainstorming channel and like come up with some ideas for the nike um like shoe customizing thing because i'm like bro the amount of stuff that can be added to that, I'm telling you right now, every shoe on that website would have been sold out. If y'all, if Nike just sits down and listens to what I gotta say, there would be so many, all of their shoes would be sold out. They're literally, because I'm telling you, the things that will provide to that app or to the website, I'm telling you, man, there would be people going there, there and never get them a pair of customized shoes. Never. Never would get them a pair of customized shoes because it's just the, the many things I would bring to the table. But anyways, so... I'm customizing them um i ended up buying them ended up ordering them and then they were saying that they were supposed to show up at the end of september so i'm like okay dope like you know in the september it's it's me and my sneakers like it's nothing else like i'm going to stick with my sneakers and that's that's it i'm gucci you know so anyway i i'm trying to think yeah i hadn't bought any other shoes since i got these i had like i wore it was funny because i got those uh fresh prince of bel-air um fives and uh, the alternate ones, like the white ones. And um, I was like, you know, I wore those outside before I wore these. And them shoes, you would think them shoes would be in the closet forever versus these shoes. I'm like, bro, I'm about to wear these shoes all around my house. And then when the time is right, like I think when I'm just hanging out with some friends, oh, I'm definitely like pulling the pants leg up on them. I'm like, nah, y'all got to see the kicks. Y'all got to see the shoes. Y'all might be wearing Jordans. I am wearing the T-Moss Boss shoes. I I've thought of like many names to call these and i honestly just like the uh wasteland blazers that's what i'm gonna call these um the wasteland blazers because that's when i was creating these shoes it definitely gave me like even though it's like a tie-dye colorway it gave me like a very like wasteland like feel to it you know because i just and then also when i was like customizing when i was like adding the tongue i was just like yeah that's like a camo type thing and then the black shoelaces and then this like colorway it just looks like a nuclear explosion across the shoe like i'm telling you let me see if i like turn the light out. i'm gonna get like super black that's how it looks like without like the light just blinding the shoe and things so um yeah that you know that that looks that looks better bro i am like dang I am charcoal black. Like, I just, I need me like a better. Like, then it's like, it looks like all night. Hold on for a second. Oh, so if I hold it like that, then it's like, yeah, I think I was holding it up too high. So if I hold it down like a little bit low, then okay. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to probably have to stay like this for the whole video. But anyways, uh, but yeah, I definitely got like a wasteland. But oh, yeah, yeah. Then the uh, inside of it is, uh, hold on, let me. So it's green. Um, I wanted it to like kind of like match with the... Uh, with the uh you know the 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 bluish greenish color and stuff i don't even know what color that is i'm like i i just don't even know what to call it it's just i just call the whole shoe like a wasteland colorway and things i definitely because then then it was uh um well because i went on there now that's what i wanted to do i wanted to come out with like a low top version because they allowed it where you could come out with a low top version so i definitely there's so many different colorways and different things i was going to do with this shoe um, cause I do, uh, I do plan on customizing me another pair of, uh, Nike shoes and then ordering them. And it's going to probably end up being the Blazers since I can add like the T-Boss Boss name to it. Then I think there's like a, I think you can like add it to this part of the shoe too. So I'll probably do like an, uh, like some different colorway and then add T-Moss Boss to the side of the shoe. Cause I'm telling you, man, T-Moss Boss, I was like, bro, the fact that they, cause I look, I tried Air Forces. I tried, uh, their other running, like other running shoes, other lifestyle shoes, basketball shoes. 
I tried so many different types of shoes. Literally, the only two shoes that can add uh, T-Moss Bust to, like, the shoe and things are Converse and um, then the Blazers. And I'm like, bro, you guys can definitely add T-Moss Bust to, like, the Air Forces and things. I'm saying, like, the, the fact that it's, like, it has, like, that same type of, like, big outsole. You mean to tell me that? Because I, I don't even have, like, no Air Forces and things. But regardless... And then that was like, bro, then it's, I think they should just, they should just add like a bunch of different shoes to the website, like from like mid top Jordans, low top Jordans, um, uh, what else? Like there should just be so many different types of shoes that they should add to that website that you can overall customize rather than like, you know, cause I, like I, I probably would have did so much more with this shoe, but this is just what they allowed me to do and things. But I'm saying like, if I had worked for Nike, cause I'm saying, man, this is like some like Virgil, um, like freaking off white level type stuff. Like that's just me. That's just how I feel about my shoe. Cause these are definitely some shoes. I will wear these shoes hands down before I wear any other pairs of shoes. Cause I'm like, as, as I was talking about how I was wearing, wearing it. Well, okay, so, like, these would just be my go-to shoes. These would be, like, these are, like, my favorite shoes right now because it has my name on it, bro. Like, it was, I'm telling you, when I created, when I customized the hat, I was like, cool, dope. I remember when I added t Moss Boss to some hoodies and some shirts. I was like, you know what, cool, dope. If they had, like, some basketball shorts, I was like, bro, just have, like, t Moss Boss just going across, like, the knee part of some shorts. Cool, dope. But... The fact that, because you all know me, I'm a massive sneakerhead. The fact that I got a T-Moss Bus shoe, I was like, bro, shout out to Nike for allowing this um, dream to come true. But I just wish that there was just more that they can add to the website, man. I'm telling you, like, let me let me customize a pair of, like, mid-tops. I'm telling you right now. If, uh, if I, I, I want to wait on that. I want to wait until I'm, like, you know really up there in fame, in fame and stuff so i'm like i want this to be like a i want it to be like especially like release shoe i'm definitely gonna like nah because if i were to release a shoe i think i said that in another video where uh if i were to release a shoe i'm gonna do it like exclusively in seattle but and then it's you know obviously you know just like people just but no that's yeah so exclusively in seattle People show up. It's going to be a first come, first serve. Ain't going to be no reservation. I'm doing everything the old-fashioned way. Because I'm like, nah, man, I'm telling you. I was like, I'm I'm still beefing over the fact that I couldn't get my bread 11s. I was like, bro, if I could have gotten my bread 11s that day when they came out, I had been happy. I wouldn't have been beefing it. I probably wouldn't have came up with that idea of people, you know, having to come in. But I'm like, nah, man, people want to reserve and buy, like, 15,000 pairs. They don't even need that much. I watched this video. This dude, he had so many of those pine green once i'm like bro okay you know i understand you know you you try to make some money and stuff but i'm saying do you honestly do you really need that many pine green ones i'm like do you really need that many trying to resell them i'm like bro you got people gotta understand not everybody likes to buy shoes resell there are people that like to pay like the the og price of a shoe like i'm saying man people though they just be ruining that that's why i'm like look if i were to ever come out if i were to ever like um release these shoes like if nike would be like hey tyler we know we want to release your shoes and stuff i'm like cool dope i know a spot um well that's a car i was all like okay so the world is ending i can no longer make this video i gotta prepare and pack and call up some friends and family and be like hey meet me at this location but uh no nah, it's just a car outside so anyways um i was about to say i'm about to yeah it's these are going to be my go-to shoes and stuff but that's what i really wanted i wanted to uh so uh all right so because but no all right so back to what i was saying can things because there's like what i want to add to this shoe and then just overall talking about the shoe and stuff so um but yeah like i was like no nah, i definitely if nike were to contact me and be like hey tyler we want to like release your shoe i'm like okay cool dope um, the Seattle store, the Seattle Nike store, I want to uh, release my shoes there. Um, and then, you know, people, they come in and buy them. You can't get them online. I don't want people going online and trying to buy the shoes. And it's one shoe per person. So if another person, if they want to get the shoe, they have that opportunity. I, my, my thing is everybody deserves an opportunity. That would definitely be my like catchphrase or my thing if uh, me and Nike were to ever to get a deal, I'm like, no, everybody gets an opportunity. So if they want to wear my shoes, they can do that. All right. And it ain't going to be no, oh, let me buy like uh, all the pairs of um, t Moss Boss's uh, shoes and things. And then, uh, yeah, just ruin it for everybody else. I'm like, that's not happening. 
So to those resellers out there, you ain't making a dime off of anything with my. And in fact, no, if there is ever a time, if there is ever a time where uh, if I do cut a deal with Nike and then um, and I'm like all famous and stuff and everybody like y'all. Oh, yeah, I can't wait for the T-Moss Boss shoes to come out. If reselling sites are selling my shoes for more than what it costs, don't buy them. Do not buy them. I will personally make the shoe myself and deliver it to you. All right, but I'm like, don't buy anything from uh, those reselling websites if it's my if my name is tied to it. Nope, don't do it. I'm like, I want you to have the opportunity of buying it retail, not resale. So, anyways, um, so yeah, I just I don't like those reselling companies because it just ruins it for everybody else that wants to get the shoes. So I'm like, nah, that ain't happening if I ever release some shoes. So, anyways, um, so what I wanted to add to the shoe, so. Definitely, I wanted to add um, like a react uh, insole to the shoe because I wanted this. I want this shoe to like stand. I want to create a comfort shoe. I want to create like a comfortable shoe. And wearing this shoe, it definitely felt like an old school shoe. So that's why I was like, I would like to add like a react um, cushioning in the uh, like as an insole inside of the shoe, and then also kind of have like uh, just uh, like the inside of it kind of like be like cushioning or you know like something that's very soft. So it's like when you're putting these shoes on, it literally like I want that feeling of walking on clouds. There are so many shoes where it's like people say that, but I'm like, no, I want to create one of the most comfortable shoes of all time. So definitely a react um, midsole, maybe a react outsole. I feel like if I were to do like an extra large version of the shoe, so like this would be like the medium size version and then the small version would probably like this so small would be like okay it doesn't even like have any of that stuff it's just that classic stuff um like nothing's added the medium um size um you know, like medium insole and things but then the extra large oh yeah then that's when it has like every it's decked out in all com like comfort so you wearing these shoes you're just gonna be like bro am i even wearing shoes right now there's those one shoes uh the nike so because it's those one um this like they i think they just came out but it has like this plate it's hold on for a second hold on i gotta come i gotta figure out the name okay so they're uh the nike air zoom type i want to create a shoe more comfortable than that so that's why i'm like you know maybe they're uh maybe the blazers can do that maybe they have like that size of where they can do that but um if not then you know we can we can work on like you know second because them to me them shoes the most comfortable shoes I've ever bought. The most comfortable shoes. I remember there was those EXP uh, 14s that came out a while ago. Those shoes was really comfortable. And then there was that Infinity, um, Infinity React uh, um, run shoe that they came out with not too long ago. And it was like, it reduces like foot injuries. Those is comfortable. Uh, what are, oh yeah, the Joy Rides, of course, those would probably be another comfortable shoe. But I would like, ooh, that would also be nice where it's like a joy ride oh my god man i'm telling you nike please please let's do some stuff all right but i'm saying like a joy so this part is just all plastic right all plastic but it's like a hard plastic kind of like an air bubble you know so something like that but with the joy ride beads all in there just all in there and then of course then it's like the plastic part it has like t-moss boss going across it i'm telling and it's a blazer bro nike Hit your boy up, because I got some ideas, all right? So, and what's this? That's some lint? Some lint. Okay, I don't want to show that shoe, because it got, like, some lint in it and things. But, anyways, yeah, that's why I got So, but, uh, anyways, um, yeah, that freaking uh, air... I'm, I'm telling you, man, I really... I just wish that they would allow, like, my full... Like, the full name of T-Moz Boss to be on the shoes, because I don't like the fact that I'm only allowed to do TMB or... T Moss Bow or T Moss Boss Bow only with one S. You know, I want to do it like I want it to be the full thing. So I'm like, I want this, but like on multiple shoes. And definitely, I want to. I'm telling you, I'm like, if I can cut a deal with Jordan and release some shoes like some Air Jordan shoes, bro, I'm releasing an Air Jordan one, low, mid tops, and high. Well, maybe high might be too much. So probably just, you know, low top, mid tops because, you know, the high tops. I feel like that might be, like, exclusive. If I could get a high top, I'm like, cool. I'll, I'll be I'll be happy with that. Uh, what else? Um, an Air Jordan uh, 6 because that's my, that's my go-to shoe. And then an uh, 11. Those are my three favorite Jordans, though. Uh, 1, 6, and an 11. So if I can release, like, three of those, 
I'm straight. I'm cool. I'm like, or just or just release those three, but in the T Moz bus, like colorway and things. Cause I'm honestly thinking, I'm like, I should just do like a wasteland, like that should just be like all my stuff. Just like a wasteland like type colorway where it just it looks like it should be in like a it's like a post apocalypse type shoe. So um that's what I was aiming for when I created this. And so uh yeah. Yeah, I was like I was I was digging this shoe. So anyways, um now reviewing my shoe. Like after twenty minutes of just talking about it. So anyways wasteland upper um but it's like a, so it's supposed to be tie-dye but when i was creating it i was like okay cool dope wasteland so uh yeah they have that op you have the options of customizing like pretty much that whole upper the inside of the shoe um uh, the tongue of the shoe you guys might see i put like a vans insole because i was like i wanted to just kind of like test out different insoles nike didn't have like no cushioning insoles so that's why i was like yo if they had i was even looking online to see if they just sold uh, react insoles like separately and things because i was like yo that would be dope like nike hit your boy up i got ideas but anyways um so yeah uh tongue is uh camo green um also it's like uh, yeah just camo green on the uh um behind the tongue too nothing special about that classic uh nike sign um inside of it it's uh it's like green but then it gets i think to like a white look to it i don't know i have to take the shoelaces out but yeah black shoelaces uh black bottom and then uh yeah white um midsole with t moss boss going across it man that just made me so happy i'm telling you i was like first that i got these shoes couldn't take them off could not take these shoes off i was wearing these shoes all day so anyways um will these shoes ever get released um i don't know uh you know i would love to release a pair of shoes through nike uh and i would love for you guys to buy them but um yeah i i don't i don't know if that if that if that will ever i hope it does i think it i one day it will one day you know i'm no i'm gonna believe myself on that one one day it will i'm gonna release a shoe through uh nike one day so anyways let's make it happen people uh, go freaking spam Nike, be like, hey, yo, like, T-Moss Boss, he got, like, shoe ideas, like, hit him up, like, you know, he gotta release a shoe, like, spam, spam Nike, alright, so anyways, and that being said, oh, yeah, hands down, you know how people would be, I know, because in my other sneaker review videos, the people would be all like, well, how would you rate these? A freaking 1 million out of 10. No, these are the best shoes ever. I love these shoes. I love these shoes so much just because I customize them. So I'm like, of course, this is going to be a perfect 10 right here. I don't see no other shoes compared to this one. This is this is my shoe. This is my shoe. I'm like, people, I know that there's other shoes. I know there's like the, the infrared 6s, those OG ones, the Concord 11s, freaking uh, what other shoes. There's so many shoes I like these ones right here these are my shoes i love these shoes okay so it, i've never kissed a pair of shoes before i had to kiss these shoes all right so anyways i don't even know who like somebody could like sit there and rub this shoe between their butt and i just yep well you know hey it's my shoe though i don't care but nah so uh but no nah, yeah definitely like perfect 10 out of 10 i, I don't see this shoe being anything less so uh anyways um yeah i'm like it, it could have been like all flat and things and uncomfortable i'm still gonna love these shoes regardless so these, these are this is my child this is like my legitimate child right here i'm like yo this i'm saying like look how big my feet are look this is a size 10 and it can literally fit my forearm i'm like that's a, this is a size 10 i don't know why my feet are so big and i'm like a i'm a small person on top of that i'm literally i'm like five eight so i'm like I, i'm i'll just i don't understand i'm like bro why are my shoes so big but anyways yeah i'm digging these shoes pretty nice i love them everything about them so anyways uh i don't even care what y'all think i love these shoes regardless so y'all can say what you want to say about it it is not going to affect me i'm like i'm gonna wear these shoes proudly so anyways i will talk to you guys later thank you guys for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video like subscribe if you are new to the channel and peace